had viewers ask me in the past about the motorhome if there's anything I disliked about it. And I always struggled to think about it until I would sit down here at the dinette. And as soon as I sit down here and my bum is making contact with the wood plank underneath, then I remember there is one thing that aggravates the heck out of me about this motorhome. And hopefully today we're going to fix that. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my motorhome. Me and the wife plan on taking this rig across the country, hopefully through Canada and all that, travel all around full time. Right now we're just doing some camping and sorting out some other life things before we head out full time, but we've been enjoying this uh, motorhome. But there's one thing that's bothering me is this uh, dinette cushions. They are absolutely horrible. Usually when we're camping or whatever, I find myself spending more time over here in the couch than right here, which sucks because being a YouTuber, I'll sit here and I'll work on edits and it just starts getting uncomfortable because when you sit on this thing, it's like the foam is just gone and you're just bouncing on here. And I don't know why they make these things so soft, but uh, it's, it's horrible. The only thing I can figure is, you know, the back feels good. Like when you lean back and you're sitting here, it feels good. And all four cushions will lay flat to make a bed, so maybe they want some consistency. But honestly, nobody, at least for us, nobody's going to sleep here. And my comfort sitting here is more important. So today we are going to change that. Uh, so I started doing some research. I've seen a few YouTube videos. I've seen some blogs about uh, people just simply change out the foam. There's no need to go expensive and replace all this, especially if you like your existing color pattern which to me i don't but you know it's expensive you try to get all new stuff done but it's too easy just to go ahead and insert foam matter of fact this was i think about 120 dollars for two cushions so i didn't change the back piece because this to me to me this is comfortable it's nice soft it's plush but there's not the same kind of weight me pushing back than me sitting down so i'll leave a link down below i have no affiliation with this company it's called the foam factory um, just someplace I found you can custom order just measure your cushions and they send it to you and it was a pretty good deal so what I got is called the Lux foam high quality so I got the Lux foam and then I went with the additional they call fiber fill wrap adacron so polyester fiber fill wrap highly suggested for foam cushions without reducing it adds extra comfort to the cushion while snugly fitting the cover um, this will add, come with one inch thick layer of fiber fill that wraps around the entire cushion. Da da da. So you can go check all those specs out. But one of the two reasons, I mean, I like the fact that they said it adds a little extra cushion. The big thing is, if you ever try to put sticky foam inside of something, uh, you're going to battle it. So I figure it's just worth a couple extra dollars to go ahead and get this fiber fill put on here. So hopefully it's going to help it gets stuffed into this cushion so let's uh let's figure this out together let's see what we are uh, working with so here is the cushion right here let's make sure you see. all right there we go so this is the new i have two of them i have the other one over here as you can see it is completely wrapped with this dacron but it i can't even squeeze this together let's take a look here is this cushion and I can all too easily I know it, it it's hard for you to because I can really can't prove anything but I can just so easily squeeze that um, this one not so much it is very springy so uh, you know, you take a look. All these cushions have a zipper. So, it just makes it too easy. And if you're not comfortable in your dinette, I highly recommend this. Now, I have a concept, something I haven't seen anybody try. What I want to do is try to pull this cover inside out. And then put it on and just roll it. Uh, I want to see if that doesn't help with the installation process. I mean, it's coming out fairly easy. Uh, so I'm just going to roll it so it's inside out. 
Come up. I guess that's what the factory put in there to make it easy to install because they have Dacron on one one hot spot here. Uh, but that's it. The rest of it's foam, man. This stuff is sticky. So now that this thing is inside out, I hope you all can see. Actually, I want to put this edge here that's uh, where it's lapped. I want to put that towards the back so that way when I zipper it, I'm not fighting this extra height. I think it should help. So let's get our corner situated. bad at all so what I want to do is just kind of squeeze this so I can help zipper this actually yeah just taking my thumb and pushing down a little bit look at that man I feel like I've done this a hundred times or something all right look at that oh wow that feels even stiffer now I hope <laughs> I hope this is going to feel better. It feels really stiff. Reinstall the back side here. We get these little velcro straps. All right. <laughs> little drum roll. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. I don't know, maybe I need to go back and watch and see like how high this thing is compared to me because I am not sinking down at all. It really felt like before I was like, Ooh. and that feels good. I'm actually sitting a little higher now because I'm not like, the, figure the cushion's four inches. So when you sit on it and it compresses, you're, oh wow, that's springy. <sighs> Wow, I cannot believe how much difference the foam makes. Oh, wow. That feels amazing. I was kind of worried that it might be too much. Now I'm a bit heavier than the wife, so <laughs> hopefully she's not going to. But I think she'll be happy with this, too. Oh, she never complained about the cushion. She thinks <laughs> I'm just crazy. Whenever time I want to do something to this. Yeah, oh man, I highly recommend. I mean, I should have done this before, but look, I sit right here on the end of this cushion, and you can see, it's not, it's not flat. Unfortunately, I don't really have this cushion anymore to sit on. Yeah, we'll put it on the couch. Look. presses down to nothing so yeah uh, now look can't even tell factory finish right there I will leave a link to the uh, foam factory down below if you're interested like I said I have no affiliation with them I paid full price for these cushions because it's just something I wanted to do except like we plan on traveling full-time I'm going to be spending a lot of time here working on videos. And, you know, sometimes weather's not that good. And so you want to sit down. My wife loves cooking. So we sit in here and eat a lot. And I've always been miserable <laughs> sitting here in the dinette. But I think that's changed now. I am totally like this man. Two thumbs up for the foam factory. All right. Yeah, I can't recommend this enough. If you're tired of sitting on the uh, ground when <laughs> you sit on your dinettes, Go for it. And they have other templates. So you can, even if yours isn't a rectangle like this and they have other shapes, you can do those shapes. You can custom order and all that stuff. So check it out. Highly recommended, man. This is 
uh, one of the best things I've done. There's three things that bother me when I bought this RV. The bed, that fridge, and this. So we put a sleep number in the bed. I have a 12-volt electric fridge, which I have videos on those as well, and down in my RV playlist. And now that this, so this thing is perfect now. <laughs> I'm happy. I am so happy. This is amazing. All right. Everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you got some useful information, and this will help you out if you're uncomfortable in your dinette or whatever cushions you have at home. Uh, hope this helps you out. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.